baby kitty crafty. Hello and welcome again to Creepy Cutie Crafty. Welcome again to yet another crafting video with me, Heather. And with me again today we have my lovely assistant. Hello. And this is Squinks, my 14 year old child and complete bane of my life, but you know, we still love them. Anyway, so today we are doing the last of our summer projects with uh, Squinks here because next week they go back to school. I don't want to go back to school. You've got to do all the learnings. Ah! Anyway, so today we are doing a project that Squinks has requested and we are going to be doing a little bit of stitching possibly and we've also got some epoxy sculpt off here so there's going to be a little bit of modelling and we are going to be doing it with these. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen these. These are Sylvanian families. Uh, these are like little mystery packets, so you get to open it and hope that it's one of the ones that you want to get. There's a mystery one. We don't know what it is. And Squinks's favourite one is the one with the mushroom. They've got a really big thing about mushrooms at the moment. They think they're super cute. Fortunately, they don't eat mushrooms, so thank heavens for I that. I do eat mushrooms. Um, I like the taste of mushrooms. No. <laughs> Squinks has got quite a few Sylvanian families toys upstairs, which are a bit more like this one here, so you can see. I've got these ones here ready for me to do some crafting later in the year. So once Squinks goes back to school, I will be having a go at remaking some of these in the style. The dresses are kind of quite classical and things, but we want to creepy cutie craftify our design. So I'm going to put these on the side and we'll be revisiting these after Squinks has gone back to school. But in the meantime, we have these. Now, me being my usual self, we don't have just the one, two, three, four of these. We have... <laughs> a whole eight of them because first of all oops a daisy just pointing the camera as is now traditional squinks has said that if that one appears they don't want to turn it into something so i've got some backup so if we get one of those and we get another one we can turn it into something else we're mostly going to do the duplicates first <sighs> yep now the reason why we're doing this is because a squinks really likes Sylvanian families it's, it's a trend at the moment. And B, because on Pinterest and on TikTok and all these other places, I've seen quite a few people doing Sylvanian family remakes. If I can, without is at the with, without co copyright, I'll, I'll put the picture up here on, on the screen. And like at the, the creator underneath it. I'll, and I'll put the name of the creator up there as well. If I can't find the original creator, I will just put a link down in the description so that you can see the kind of things that I've been having a look at. I think they're really cool, but they do take a lot of work. But I think we're going to have a go at doing them ourselves because I've seen like hoodie ones, I've seen ones wearing Halloween costumes, I've seen them in very sort of high society dress. These ones are a bit smaller, as you can see, these are supposed to be like baby versions of them, but hopefully they'll still be big enough for you guys to see and we can still have a, a bit of fun making them. So, as I say, we've got loads of thread, we've got some ribbon, we've got some fabric, we've got all sorts of things under here to have a make with. I've got some epoxy sculpt over there, we've got buttons, we've got sequins, we've got blah, 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 blah. We should be able to make something nice. And if you want to see what happens with the other set of Sylvanian families, make sure that you like and subscribe and tap the little notification bell so you don't lose us on the internet. And that way you'll be notified of all of our upcoming projects. And also, if you would like to leave a comment down below, what do you think of this trend of doing Sylvanian family remakes? Do you like them when they're being made creepy? Do you like them when they're made into sort of classical style? What kind of thing do you like? What would you make out of these, these things? And maybe if I'm inspired enough by your suggestions, I'll do that with the larger set in a couple of months. So what are you going to do? I don't know yet. I'm going to wait until I've opened these up and then see what the mood takes me. See how I'm inspired. I'm thinking of making something that's in the style of Salvador Dali, just to make it a bit weird, a bit surreal. I've been looking at the image of his elephants with the, the extremely long legs. I'll post a picture up on the screen here. Or I might have a go at doing something like a demon or something like that. I want to make it something like a, something a bit, a bit anti- Sylvanian family-ish. <laughs> what do you want to make? Vocaloid. Vocaloid. So again, Squinks has a very big trend at the moment of vocaloids. So it's like things like Hatsune Miku and um, uh, things like that. What's Kaito, Gakupo, Len, Rin. <laughs> They're expecting me to remember all these names. I don't remember any of these names. I keep getting the names wrong and they keep laughing at me because I'm like... <laughs> I, I don't know who these people are. I might are. make some Sekai characters too. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. At the end, why don't you post a couple of pictures with their names, send it to me, and I'll put them on the screen here so people can work out okay. what they are. So if you guys know who these people are, great, because I, I don't. I'm, I'm too old. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to clear the table, do some Sylvanian family random box unboxing. 
random bag unboxing and then we're gonna get to the making should be fun see you in a bit <laughs> okay so we've got all these let's start with, let's have a quick look at the, the packet first so on the packet we've got Len the year baby forest costume series there's a mystery one here so we've got like a, a koala we've got what bunnies do you think we've got cats we've what got what's this one is that a husky yeah and what's that one is it just mus mushroom head i don't know what actual animal it is i think it's like a mouse is that a mouse or a bear i can't tell it's a mouse can you see that i think it's a mouse i don't know so you go first And you've got the little husky with the plant with the plants so the husky is really sweet so yeah you can it's see that's them. the husky it's got it's come with a little sort of feltish basic item of clothing and we can change that up to something can't we i'm sure that these, these, i'm sure that all of these little creatures have names and i've got no idea what their names are we should name him uh john trevor Yep, and I've got the mouse with the little rafty thing. These are very, very, very small, so we're going to have to do very, very detailed remakes, aren't we? So it's going to have to be teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny. Is it a mouse? It's yep. a ma it looks more like a hamster. It's got very chubby cheeks. Well, you know what? As what? it's an apple one, you can turn him into Lucifer from Has Been Hotel. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So he's got a little, is it a, a bunny? It's a deer. It's a deer, okay. It's a deer. Okay. See, as, if you guys have, have seen this before, we do like our Has Been Hotel. And there's a character on that called Lucifer, but he's very apple themed because, you know, Bible and stuff. Oh my gosh, I love him. I love this little guy. <laughs> <laughs> this one is teeny tiny. Hold on. Look at him. That's a, is that a bunny rabbit? Yeah. So that one is like a miniature version of these ones. So it's a chocolate rabbit. Let them out! Let them out! Mummy, daddy, come out! Ah! Sorry. <gasps> it's another new one. Oh my gosh! It's a little acorn boy. Let's do a size comparison. So if you get that one, you've got, you know, quite a nice amount of space to work with. If I get that one, it's going to be teeny tiny. Got a no, duplicate. It means you're going to, you can I can use that one. So I'm going to put that one over here. Yep. Yeah. Three! <laughs> he didn't get the mushroom, are you kidding me? Oh no. What? Which what do you one mean? is it? Oh, Which no. one is it? Wait, is it the Which mushroom one? Which one is it? Wait. Yeah! <laughs> Finally! It's a cat! It is a cat. It's a cat! It's a nice big one as well, so that would be really nice to do a remake on. No! I don't want to! No! Mushroom Boy is mine. He's, he came home. Okay. See, yeah. all of these are covered in, in like flocking, so they're nice and soft. Oh, actually, they've got, they've got their movable, their, their legs move and things. I did not know that. That's quite cool. You didn't know? I didn't know, because I don't play with toys. Yeah, that's quite a nice one. I like the little key cat. We might have to get some more to try and get another mushroom cat. So, we're going to tidy these away, and then we're going to do some remakes. All right, so we're back. Basically, Squinks has secreted away the cute ones that they wanted to keep. And we've got some duplicates here, and these ones that we can turn into to other things. I'm not entirely sure yet what we're going to do. I think we should do one big one, one small one. So I'm going up and punching the camera again, as is traditional. So we've got these two guys here. I'm, I'm happy to take this one with the apple because I can turn that into a demon. So which of these two do you want? What are you going to do with them? I was thinking, thinking of turning it into Kaito and Guri. Okay, so we can do them together. That's fine. And I'll do these two. I'm going to do different styles. I'm going to do this one as Lucifer because he's got the apple. And I'm going to turn this one into a Salvador Dali-esque something or other. I don't know quite what. I'll take off his weird No, it's naked. He's got a naked bunny in front of me. It is very cute, but at the same time, I'm, I'm going to completely destroy it. So I'm going to get some pictures to work from. Do you want to use epoxy sculpt with yours? No, I'm going to sew all of mine. I'm still going to use this because like, I'm going to need it for his hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to get some inspo pictures in the background. 
and we're gonna get on with it. So. Okay, so we're sort of set up. I've got my silicone sheet here ready to go. Squinks, you've got your fabric bits here. I've got some of my more powerful hardware. So I've got some little mini drill bits and a mini drill. And I've also got some wire, oops, that I'm throwing around and some other bits and pieces as well. So I'm gonna be doing mine with epoxy sculpt and you're gonna be doing yours with fabric, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So what are you gonna do first? I'm gonna do the little mouse as Rui Kamashiro from the popular game Project Sekai. Okay, so I'll put a picture up the screen. This this mouse has to turn into this person here. Do I do this with normal scissors or fabric scissors? Or you can do it with normal scissors, but fabric scissors would be would work better. Yeah. I need to stitch it over. Yeah, so you need to turn it over like that and do a little row of stitches going all around the outside. If you don't, it's going to fray. I'm going to cut those ears off and make them really long. Oh, went straight through. Blimey, that was, that was a surprise. The ears came off super easily. Look at that. My gosh, I was not expecting that at all. So now I'm going to do the same with the feet. Sorry, bunny. I'm going to drill into your head. Little tiny leg caught on a drill. <laughs> that poor bunny. There you go. Yep. Yeah, what did you do to him? I have deconstructed, now I'm reconstructing him. He looks slightly more worried now, because look, he's got no ears. It's like... Ah! I made this too big! Two legs, and now for the ears. I'm going to do those slightly shorter. I swear it will make sense once I'm done with it. What do you reckon? It's a bunny. He looks very dapper. He looks he looks very snug. Snug. Snug as a bug in a rug. What do you think guys? He looks so swag. Let's have a look. So yeah, that's uh was it Rui Kamishara or whatever his name is? Rui Kamishara. With his white shirt and his grey jumper. Very, very dapper. You need to add some more to it though. You need to give him some hair. Does he have any other accoutrements? No, he just has hair. What do you think? <laughs> I do some silly things sometimes, don't I? <sighs> Let's have a look. It's not done yet. <sighs> Rui Kamisaro. Kamishiro! Kamishiro. Kamishiro Jambambolo Bolo. Yeah, so we like Lucifer from the Has Been Hotel, which is a really it's good series, good. but don't watch it because it's got some very, very naughty things going I on. I definitely it. haven't watched it. They definitely haven't watched it. That's why I'm doing this one and they're not. But I like the character and I think that the apple would be a lovely little addition to the character. I'm gonna move my bunny on the back, let it rest for a moment. So I've got to turn this into this. Y'all think I'm a Rui Kamashiro. Let's have a look. So we've got this one here, and it is Squinks' version of this. What do you think? So I'm going to be using epoxy sculpt, which, as we know, is a two-part epoxy that sits hard. And whilst we're mixing it, we need to wear gloves. So I'm the only one doing epoxy, so I'm not going to use a huge amount.
that's that one done. I'm gonna leave it to set. I'm gonna do the hat and the coat for this guy. Okay, so we've got to this point. I'm gonna leave these to a set and then we'll come back and finish it off in a bit. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're back to this general sense of mayhem that we've got going on here. I'm gonna leave these bits and pieces to set up overnight and come to them later. Now with this one, the epoxy sculpt did not want to stick to the flocking, which I kind of thought might have been a problem. So I'm gonna have a go at making a little outfit for him out of fabric. So wish me luck, it's still going to be Lucifer from Hotel. Has Been Hotel, but it might be a bit more Heath Robinson than I was planning to do. I'm adding the little bow parts to this coat. Okay, so how do you think you're going with that one? Very well, actually. That's it's good. not bleeding through. So, as it's loose, I've got some white fabric here and some ribbon, and this is going to be his hat. That's so really good. It's really cool. That looks so good. We've got Kaito, and you can compare that to this picture on this side. I think that's really cool. Like they've done it scarf. So Kaito and Rui. There we go. <laughs> You're a mad child. Oh my gosh, that's actually so good. I actually am in love with this. I'm in love with this. Okay. Ta da! Kaito! Yeah, looks really good. Got very blue hair. Bunny time. Oh, what are you gonna do with that one? I'm gonna turn it into Gakupo. What do you think? Looking swag. So this guy was in the dollhouse I have. I'm gonna turn him into Gakupo. Okay, so it's been a few days, but we're nearly there. Squinks has finished most of this, and I'm still halfway through mine, so such is life. And we, we are, are done. done! What do we think, guys? <laughs> We've 
gone extra stupid on this one because it's the last one of the summer holidays. I think some of them are, are really cool. Some of them are very, very, very stupid. Okay, so Squinks, what did you think of yours? I really like it. It's an obvious theme. It's an obvious theme to Squinks. It's not an obvious theme to me. Is it Project Sekai? No. The theme is family. <laughs> theme is Sylvanian family. Okay, so who are yours? So this is Hatsune Miku. <laughs> Hatsune Miku we know. This is Rui Kamashiro from the popular game Project Sekai. Okay. This is Kaito. He's a vocaloid. He's the one that you really like, isn't he? Yeah, That's he's Kaito. my favourite vocaloid. I it's think he looks really good. I like the little microphone, because can you see there? I've got a little microphone on the side. And... This is Gakupo. Gakupo. Easy. I keep, every also time we say that, I keep thinking Kakapo from Tenacious D. <laughs> so which one of those is your favourite? I think we know this. Kaito. Kaito. Yeah, he's, he, I think it's really well done. He's going to start getting a bit sort of frayed eventually. And mine over here, we've got to, I've got two. I've got my Dali-esque attempt. I've got some paint on her face, unfortunately, but I can live with that. But she's got like flowers and things growing out of her hair along with her ears. Uh, she's got a long lacy dress and she's got flowers growing over her. Elongated feet. Uh, I think she looks kind of cool but also at the same time very very stupid. My other one over here this is Lucifer from the TV series called Has Been Hotel. He's obsessed with rubber ducks and he's got a very much of an apple theme. This staff is probably going to come off at some point because it's not very well attached but I think the rest of it looks really good. The hat is a bit top heavy which is why I've attached him to the raft here but that's okay because it looks like floorboards I think. It looks like floorboards from his workshop do you think? <laughs> I'm quite pleased with how the, the bow tie looks but yeah, I think I would like to return to this at some point later with the bigger set of Sylvanian family characters because then you can get more detail. The biggest issue I found with doing this was when I started using the epoxy sculpt. The epoxy sculpt did not want to stick to the flocking. Well, Squinks also did this Hatsune Miku. They did this in a previous video, but they just decided to finish it in this video because they went over time. But I'm going to put some pictures of all these up on the screen and you can have a good close look at them and tell me what you think of them down in the comments it's below. Oh, oh, there goes the stuff. There goes the stuff. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. Anyway, let's know down in the comments below. What do you think of our finished creations? What's your favourite thing from this, Squinks? Kaito. Kaito. If you want to see us return to this sometime in the future, please put a comment down below. And also, whilst you're there, let me know what kind of things you'd like to do with Sylvanian families yourself. Like I say, I've seen some really fantastic designs put on them on Pinterest and on Instagram. I thought it'd be nice to have a go ourselves, just have a bit of a muck around. And as I say, this is the last week of Squinks' holiday, so we just did a fun one for the last one. And also, let me know what kind of thing would you like to turn a Sylvanian family character into in the future? What do you think we should have done with them? <laughs> I'm sure you guys have got some great ideas anyway so as i say yeah next week it's going to be back to me all on my own i've got some big projects lined up i hope you've enjoyed watching us muck around with these things and i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much and bye bye, -bye.